Very excited about what Mike uh, Donnie's doing today. He has a great assignment today. He, he gets does. to hang out with the K-9 unit, the training unit, Mike. So does that mean the dogs are puppies? Uh, some of them are, some of the younger ones, but the ones out here right now, they're the vets. They're the ones that are, you know, three, four years old. But we will be meeting those new recruits later on. But we're, we're talking about 17 months, so not quite pops. Uh, a little bit older, uh, but still quite young compared to these other ones out here. Uh, you know what? I've never actually been at this facility before, and it's quite fascinating. Sergeant Todd McNutt joining me this morning. Uh, and this is a an area that not a lot of people actually get to see. Yeah, uh, good morning. It's, um, we're at the, uh, K or... Calgary Police Canine uh, Training Center um, and our kennel sit, our kennel facility. We're on about two acres here. Uh, where we're at right now is the uh, training field, so we've got a, a series of obstacles uh, that the officers will use uh, for training. We start the dogs out here with, with obedi basic obedience, uh, agility work. Um, inside, we've got a facility for 16 dogs on the inside. Uh, so it's quite a, a large facility. We moved in here about uh, in 2007, I think now. Okay. Uh, we used to be up over by the Macaulay Golf Course, but this is a brand new facility that's uh, in the North Service Center. Now, I noticed kind of on the outer edges, uh, you've got a bunch of obstacles set up. So is this, uh, what would the purpose of that be? That's the agility field. So we'll start the dogs, uh, um, certainly when we get the new dogs and new handlers, um, it's about building a bond. and. Uh, Building the skills of the dog, building that bond between the handler and the uh, and the dog. Uh, again, this agility, agility for the dogs. But the dogs can't do it on their own. Uh, after a while, they will. Uh, but again, it takes that that handler, that bond, to help the dog over a lot of these obstacles. And at the end of the training, these dogs are bound all over all these obstacles, no problem. Let's talk about that bond a little bit uh, between officer and and the dog because it, it's quite close. That's right. Uh, we don't share dogs. Like uh, these dogs are 24/7 uh, with these handlers. Uh, they go home with the handlers at night. So day one of training, uh, we introduce the dog and these handlers, um, and they're their partners for the entirety. So uh, we're talking, you know, a relationship between, you know, uh, generally about eight years. Uh, we can get a, a working life out of these dogs. So yeah, it's a it's a very tight bond. They're part of the family. Um, it's, a, it's a very unique relationship for sure. Now, can any dog become a member of the canine unit, or is it, uh, are they specially bred for this, or can any dog really become with the proper training? All of these dogs that you see now that we have, the patrol dogs, they're all bred for police work. We get them uh, at a facility out of Indiana, then they're brought over from Europe, uh, Czechoslovakia, Holland, uh, Poland, um, uh, a bunch of the European uh, Germany, um, so they're brought over from a broker to a facility in the U.S. and we go down and handpick these dogs We bring them over. So these dogs are, are, are bred specifically for patrol police work. Uh, we also have some of the floppier dogs. That's a di different story um, with detection work, drug work, uh, explosive work. We have had some luck picking up these dogs from the uh, pound. Oh, really? So um, the, we, the, these dogs that are people just can't handle, they're a little bit, little bit wild, they're crazy all the time, they're running around. Those are the kind of dogs that we were looking at for, for detection work. Uh, uh, we can't pick up a uh, patrol dog. Gotcha. Well, we have lots of dogs out here on the field, and the guy that you see right there, the, the kind of lighter brown colored one, he's one of the new recruits who are going to be getting up close and personal with the dogs this morning. And I've uh, something that's been uh, run by me, something about bite work. Bite I'm not work. sure what that is yet, but I guess we'll find out probably I, soon enough. It, it sounds pretty self-explanatory. I think there's a protective suit for bite that. Bite work, and Mike Yanni is the tool that the dogs will be using. Like I said, I hope he can run fast. <laughs> I hope he can outrun those dogs. They're so in tune with their owners, oh, aren't are they? Are they ever? Are they ever? Just